playing the president of the United States in a time where basically what we're dealing with now, where there's uh, there's Middle East unrest and there's all of these uh, countries that are, you know, uh, having a hard time settling, uh, and it could be for a number of reasons. Uh, uh, with my backstory, just for my own subtext, is the fact that people got the internet now and they can see that freedom is in is is in the distance. So. Uh, when a person gets uh, exposed to freedom, all types of things are going to happen and people are going to try to keep freedom out of their hands. And in this situation, our president is faced with how do we move into the new world? Channing Tatum, who plays Kale, who's uh, Channing Tatum, just the person is at the top of his game as far as a movie star is concerned right now. And I think this is a, a fresh look for him uh, with his work from, I mean, it ranges from Step Up to where he's an incredible dancer, to uh, the vow where he's a you know a heartthrob and, and great actor, and then Magic Mike, which I've yet to see. Just want to go on record as saying that I haven't seen Magic Mike, but uh, but I hear that it's amazing. It's physical, especially for for Channing. I, I've been I saw some footage where he was just getting thrown around, and he was throwing people around. So for him. Uh, it hasn't been as physical f for me, but we've done some things like underwater and the swimming pool and, and guns and, and all of it, which I, you know, I, I completely enjoy. But I'm on the other side of it to where, you know, here's a president who he's nice with his hands. And if he, somebody ran up on him and he had to fight, he could do that. But, you know, guns and everything. Like there's one line that uh, Channing actually came up with is, uh, I don't even hunt. And this is where the president has to shoot a gun for the not for the first time, but he has to shoot a big gun for the first time, and he actually kills someone for the first time in the movie. And he says, uh, you know, I don't even hunt. This is all Greek to me. You work with some directors who, you know, sort of have it mapped out, and it's sometimes it's ironclad, which is, you know, fine, because you have to be disciplined as an actor. But rolling is, okay, here's where we are, but we could dance around anywhere we want to, and then whenever we get too far off, you know, he pulls us back in. He says, no, no, no. Let's just do it. You know, this way, it's, it's better, it's, it's so much better. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's great to have a person who allows you to bring in your voice and bring in your uh, ideas, and then he shapes them and makes it for what, and, and shapes them in the way that he can get his movie executed. It's amazing, I, I got a friend of mine, his name is Jack, he's my, also my trainer, and he's from D.C., and when he walked on the set, he went, holy, this is really the White House, and they built the White House to scale, which I thought to myself, like, uh, this is a, a really big budget movie. Because, like, you know, I've been on some movies where the budget was not so nice, where they would have just had, like, a dude with a picture of the White House standing behind you as you, as you said your lines, okay. Okay, <laughs> and they'll tell you, okay, it's daytime now. Oh, let me get the other picture. Yeah, so it's, it was, uh, a testament to Sony's belief in in, in, uh, in Channing and, and Roland and, and what we have to offer. So they've, they've done right by building the set to scale that even if we were to shoot something on the set right now and say we were in the White House, they would really believe it.